Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to take a look at Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services provide a variety of services with pay as you go scheme. So as you use their services, only that period of time you have to pay them. So, so today's topic is EC2 instance where you can use your virtual server from your command line as a virtual computer. So this will be a video for helpful for those who want to learn Linux or any other operating system. They can use or for their business purposes as well to expand their business and to manage their performance process as well. So without any wasting time, let us go to our AWS account. You have to sign in to the console. When you sign in, this will be the interface. You have to simply go to the search and get and type EC2. They will virtual server in the cloud. Click on the EC2 button. And on the left hand side, you can see the instance. Click on instances. As you can see, I was I have created my new instance and let's delete it and make a new instance. Okay now. So let us create a new instance. Launch inst click on the launch instance button and you have to name them. Like I will name it second instance. As you go down here, there are oper operating system. So you can choose them like Amazon also provide their own Linux environment, Mac OS, Ubuntu, Windows, Red Hat. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm using Red Hat. They will provide you the architecture. You can choose it. And you have to create a key pair to log into your instance. So just click on the key, create a new key pair. Create a key pair and name your key just like anonymous underscore key. Create the in type of encryption or in the file format. So I will go for the default one. Create a create a create pair. It will download it for you and you can choose the option various options like you want to allow HTTP, HTTPS traffic from the internet or not. So I will go by for default as it is this video is for just for basic purpose. You can configure this as, as much you want and you can click on the advanced step and explore it yourself. Create, you can create a new IAM profile and you can also and create many more. You can customize it. You can request the spot instances that will be much cheaper for you if you are going for your business plan. Number of instances, it will also ask you how much instances you want for, for your purpose. So this for, for for this time let's go by one you can create as many instances you want so create one and click on the launch instance button it it will launch our instance as you can see it shows the successfully initiated launch of instance click in the instance id here provided so here you can see that our instance state is now pending. 
it will check the status it will check two status and after that we we can log into our virtual machine in the cloud so it will take one or two minutes maximum and st instant state is running and they are just checking the security checks as you can see now we can we are we were able to connect with our virtual machine so just click on the connect option here on the top click on connect as it will as as here we can see it pro, it shows our instance id public ip address and the username you you can modify your username anything you want like you, you can type your name or anything for for now just log in with the default credential here so we have to go to the command prompt here type cmd hit the enter let me zoom this so remember the key the key that that is that key pair that you downloaded earlier so go to that folder where where you downloaded your key pair so in my case it is in download downloads folder and the type shh hyphen i secure cell and i tag with the key pair name like anonymous key dot pem and copy the, the public ip address and type the username here it is ec2 user ec2 hyphen user at and paste the public ip address and click enter so it will ask you, you want to show you want to connect click on yes so now we are in the virtual machine in the cloud we are running a virtual machine in the cloud so you can it's just like a command line interface of linux like you can list anything you can make directory so you can do anything in your own virtual machine running in the cloud so that's it for today's video hope you like this video do care to like and subscribe thank you